This is a common American cockroach, a household pest. When I normally see a roach like this outside my lab, it's usually in a full out sprint, running across the floor and diving into a dark corner. But recently, I've been trying to see roaches in a new way. For instance, have you ever seen a roach do this? Lift its wings, push itself off the ground, and jump into a short burst of flight. Like anybody, I admit that roaches are kind of gross, and I don't want to see them crawling across the floor in my house. But they're also kind of fascinating. For instance, recently I came across this paper from 2012, which was the first to describe something called a leap roach. It's a species of wingless cockroach from South Africa that evolved grasshopper-like hind legs and a high flying jump. But in the introduction to this paper, the authors write that no other roach species are known to be able to jump. As you saw in the first part of this video, other roaches definitely do jump. And what that sentence told me is that no one's taken the time to carefully film, observe, and describe the aspect of their behavior before. So we've been doing a little bit of that, and I wanna show you what we've found so far. Here are three of the most common pest species of roach all jumping. On the left is a German cockroach, the middle a smoky brown, and then on the right, an American. These sequences were all captured at 6,000 frames per second, and they all show that a flight starts with a leg-powered jump. I filmed this behavior by putting the roaches on a platform they couldn't crawl down off of. But even when their aim was down towards the ground, they would still use their legs to push off the platform and jump out and away. After filming a bunch of these, I noticed one mechanic that I think is unique to the cockroach jump. If you watch the hind legs, they aren't touching the ground when the roach starts its motion. Instead, the middle legs initially power the jump, while the back legs are dragged up and positioned parallel with the middle. All three species that I filmed do this repositioning of their back legs once their jump has started. To show how different it is, here's a comparison. Mantises are the most closely related group of insects that also jump. Here's how a young wingless Chinese mantis does it. Notice how it jumps from a standstill. There's no repositioning of the legs, no sequential push of the middle and then hind legs. It's just four legs all pushing at the same time. Side by side, the differences in leg movements seem pretty clear. Up to now, all that footage was roaches jumping right before they flapped their wings into a short burst of flight. But we found some situations in which they jump without using their wings at all. Here's an American roach facing a gap. It can feel the other platform with its antennae, but when it tries to grab a hold of it with its front legs, it's too far out of reach. If it wants to get to it, it has to either jump or fly. This one jumps, demonstrating a full out leg powered jump without any wing flapping. When this one gets across the gap, watch as it uses its claws at the tip of its hind legs to grab the platform and anchor itself while it swings its body back down. Now, even though these roaches can jump, that doesn't mean they're particularly good at it. Here's another one facing that same gap. To get across, this one pairs a jump with a flutter of its wings, but it only manages to barely make it across the gap. It lands face first, bouncing its head off the platform. The roaches in this video are super common and they're some of our most well-studied insects. So I think it's cool that there's new things to observe and learn about their behavior. We're just getting started studying this aspect, so you can expect more roach videos on this channel in the future. But thanks for watching this one.